Greetings everyone and welcome back to Backpack Hero, where today we're going to be checking out Tote's gameplay in, uh, to begin with, the Tote tutorial, which I think is actually a fairly on-rails, quite short little area, and then we're probably going to jump into an actual game with Tote. But first and foremost, let's move on and see what Tote is all about. So we're up against a scarecrow, fair enough. Uh, Tote draws carvings each turn. These special items can be placed into her backpack. When she places a carving, she summons it. Many carvings have effects on summon. Okay, well, uh, aha, we're quite familiar with these ones. Spiky carvings. On summon, deals, ni deals nine damage instead of damage every turn? What the dickens? Uh, each turn, oh, I guess uh, these are spiky carvings and not uh, burrs. Each turn, tote draws carvings, uh, drag them to your bag to summon them. Okay, one, two, and indeed three. Plump, there we go. End battle. Now let's move on. Battle start. I'm uh, assuming it's going to introduce different types of carvings each time. Some carvings can be used after they are summoned. Very well, let's uh, put you in. A tree sword, melee weapon carving. On use, deals four damage. On discard, plus four damage this combat. Oh, so the tree gets... Uh, what are these over here? Uh, I imagine these are discard piles, I should imagine. Okay, let's uh, use that. There we go. We win, I guess. We don't find out about discarding. Some carvings have a cost to summon, shown at the bottom of the card. So that, uh, cost zero, cost one, cost one. On use deals three damage. When a carving is summoned in an adjacent space, this item is used. Aha. On summon, adds nine block. And energy point. On summon, adds one energy. Okay, well, that's uh, fairly easy to do. Let's uh, go ahead and pop you down there. Uh, I then want to summon you in. I then want to summon you, and you, and then finally you, and there we go. That's actually kind of cool. I like the puzzle element of that. Finally, discarded carvings can be drawn again. Banished carvings are removed from the rest uh, for the rest of the combat. You can toss your carvings to discard them and do damage. Aha, okay, so discard and, uh, and um, banished, I see. Pot carving. On summon, draw two carvings. This carving is then banished. Spiky carving. On summon, deals nine damage. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do this first. Pop you up there. Pop. When a carving is banished, it is removed for the rest of this fight. Uh, did I not draw? Oh. I see. What I needed to do. I don't think we can win this now. Right, okay. I'm fairly certain that we have... Yeah. I need to place this in. I then need to toss to do however much damage it does. Discard all carvings in your backpack. Deals one damage. Yeah, I can see how this is going to work. Now I've got one in my um, discarded pile. I draw that back and I can play it again for nine damage. Right, okay. That, was, that took me a few seconds to understand how that was meant to work. But I like it. I like it. This is almost more of a traditional deck builder at this point. There we go, we get uh, the Golden Seed, and we get the Lost Spark. So also 12 extra food, 12 extra treasure, and 16 extra material. Is there anything else for me to do on the map? I, I'm now traumatized of the idea of going through a door without checking the map first. Look what you've done to me, chair. Right, okay. Uh, well, Tote is over there. Hello, Tote. Hello, Purse. I just got back from the dungeon. It went well. Definitely scary in there, though. Keep learning. I will. Right, we're going to immediately go back out on a uh, an adventure with Tote. It's just going to be a standard run, a basic run, with no special settings. Let's go and see what we can do with Tote proper, shall we? A beautiful backpack is its own reward. True. Very true. I would like to get a relic. I hope this makes you think differently. It might. Right, we've got the frog hat. Minus one energy to the cost of clearing carvings in combat. Okay, well, that seems quite good. Let's have... Can I see... Oh, I can. Okay, so I've got three spiky carvings. One gem carving. Adjacent weapons get plus two damage. On summon, deals five damage. When your turn ends, this carving is discarded, so automatically leaves. Nice, okay. Um, we've got uh, energy requirements, but thanks to this... Minus one to the cost of... Oh, well, that, that's clearing carvings. Okay, well, we'll have to have a look at how this goes. Uh, do we, want to go, we haven't been to the crypt in an awfully long time. Let's go to the crypt. I know Tote seems the best person to go to the bramble with, but no. We're going to go to the crypt instead. All right, well, first things first, we're going to clear out this direction. Right, need to get rid of you as soon as I can. Uh, and also you, honestly. 
Let's see, let's pop one down, two down. There we are, no more incoming damage. Don't actually need to play these, uh, so, but I may as well use up my energy to do it because then I can toss them. Right now, discard all carvings in your backpack, deal three damage. Really? Oh yes, of course, I've only got three, three uh, items in there so far. All right, what else have I got? I've got those two, okay. Well, let's end turn. You're gonna try and skedaddle now. Toast backpack gets full quickly. Toss discards all carvings from her backpack. Use this whenever you need more space to summon new carvings. She can draw them again later. Toss also does damage for each carving that is discarded. Tote deals additional damage to her target. Okay, well, uh, that is very much what I would like to do. Let's pop you there. And let's pop you there as well. There we are. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do enough damage. I'm gonna do five damage right now. If I can place this in, I will do six. So I'm definitely not gonna be doing enough. Sadly, but that is just the way it's gonna be. Oh well. Goodbye. We needed to get rid of the bee. The bee was gonna be a massive pain in the bum. Right, let's get all well actually if I pop this in here first, <clears throat> will this allow me to do even more damage than normal? Uh, not enough energy. Damn drat and indeed blast. Uh well I'll keep that there for now. You're going to have 14 defense, so I'm not really going to be looking to do much damage this turn. Uh, let's pop this down. There we are, I'm now protected. Pop this in. I'm not, actually, not too bad. Thinking about it, that wasn't bad at all. Uh, right, now with that, I'm going to be able to do enough damage with the toss to get rid of you. Perfect. With Tote, I'm not sure <coughs> what kind of items that we're going to be picking up. So, let's play cautiously on expanding the backpack. I'm so sorry. Well, I've got a... You know what? I'm not going to say I've got a frog in my throat, because that might offend Toad. I, I had to clear my throat with a cough. There are no frogs in my throat. I don't eat frogs. What are you trying to apply, Toad? How dare. When Toad gets new carvings, she adds them to her deck. Be careful which ones you choose. You, ca uh, you can't drop them later. Stores can remove carvings, though, for a price. So, yeah, this is very much a traditional deck builder at this point. But, all right, let's have a look at what we've got. Crystal Sap, when connected to three saps, deals 10 damage. This car car carving is discarded. Uh, Chantrelle, each turn adds one haste to self. When an adjacent consumable is used, add three haste to self. This carving is then discarded. Okay. And then Daughter's Blade. Kin melee weapon carving. On summon, deals 10 damage. On use, deals 3 dam damage. And this carving is discarded. Alright, I like taking this. I can only take one, though. And I'm kind of feeling the haste, if I'm honest. But I'd like to have an actual weapon in my deck. And I may as well bring this along, just because I can. I can always drop that one later. I can't drop the, car the carvings, but I can probably drop this. Right. Oh, and there we go. Straight away. Nice. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, get this in. We should be able to remove you pretty much immediately. So let's do that. And then we'll get down a couple of other items there as well. There we go. This is much, much more strategic. Right, let's pop. Uh, does this require energy to use? Yes, it does. There we are. Let's pop all of those in. Doesn't really matter, we're just going to toss that and take you out. Another level up, nice. Right, let's continue expanding the backpack out in more or less a uh, an even direction. We want to, to try and keep it square, or at least oblong. Uh, vine Sap, when connected to three saps, adds one dodge to self. We've also got Lucky Carving, on summon adds great luck. Ooh, and then Banished. Rose Arrow. For each connected mana stone, plus two damage. On use, deals five damage. It's coming. Ooh. I think we will take you. I'll be able to connect you up there. I would actually like this one, if I'm honest. But the uh, option to do a little bit more damage is very nice. And that one looks like it's a very much a tote-specific item there. Uh, illusory tape. All effects applied to this are passed to adjacent items. On use, this carving is discarded. Adjacent carvings are also discarded. Huh. Okay. 
so for example, I'm going to guess I would be able to have the gem carving against this, and then this would then also extend its effect. So adjacent weapons get plus two damage. Would that be propagated by this? Maybe. Uh, I'm very interested in it, though, so we're going to pick that up. Oh, I could grab a couple of presents. Sure, we'll grab two. Even though this is kind of filling my backpack, which is a problem for Toad. Uh, we've got the wooden shiv. Can be used one time each turn. On use, deals five damage. Plus one damage until discard. Oh. Okay. Plus one damage until it gets discarded. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Pinecone. When a carving is summoned in an adjacent space, add three block. Acorn Camp. On summon, at 8 block. And then finally, the Briar Dagger. Can be used two times each turn. On use, deals 5 damage, and then when out of use, is, this item is discarded. It costs 0, so I'm, I think we're going to grab... Well, in terms of my protection, I'm a little bit concerned about that one. I think maybe taking that instead. Getting a little bit of extra spike damage would be very, very nice. I was very tempted to go for the pine cone or the acorn cap, though. But, yeah, I think uh, I think grabbing the... Oh, I'm actually thinking about it. That might have been better to have gone for this. But I'm a little bit worried about my my uh, dwindling backpack space. And I know I'm the one filling it up with presents, but... Right, I need to take you out as quickly as I can. Hmm. Well, first and foremost... Uh, let's go ahead. Let's see, does this cost anything to be summoned in? No. Okay, let's bring you in. Then I'm going to bring this in. This is dealing 11 damage now. Let's bring this in. There we go. I could use it. We only do 5 damage though. Uh, but that was very nice that I. That got the effect of the gem carving when we brought it in. Same here, I imagine. There we are. You're almost dead, and I can then use this to take you up. But instead of doing that, I'm going to need the block to be able to uh, remove the incoming fire damage that we're going to get. There we go. Now, I'm going to need the block every single turn to avoid that. Uh, first and foremost, let's go ahead and... Sure, let's just get rid of you. I'm thinking it's probably wise for me to then toss. I could use this before tossing, but uh, I'm going to want at least one of these. So let's go ahead and toss now. Uh, that being said... Yeah, I would need a bow to actually trigger that, I guess. Interesting. I, I was hopeful that that wouldn't be the case, but uh, apparently it is. And we're still going to take some damage, unfortunately. I'm going to pop that in there. It's not really there for any particular reason, other than me just doing a little bit of extra damage. All uh, right, we're going to take a bit here, and then the three burn. But yes, this is a it is a web, uh, an arrow, sorry. So we're still going to need a bow to, to fire it. A bit of a pain, but not the worst thing in the world. Right, going to want you. Bring these in as well. Bring you in, and there we go. All right, could get another mana stone at this point. Not that it's really going to help us, but... Oh, my lord. Okay, let's have a look at these. Vine Wand. On summon, adds three weak to enemy, and adds three slow to the enemy. We've got the green candle. Can be played over other items. On summon, carvings behind are discarded. This carving is then discarded. Huh, that one might not be a bad one. It costs zero, and it clears up some backpack space. Bone Lance. Uh, melee weapon carving on summon deals 14 damage, and then that's it. Uh, I think we're going to take the green candle, though. Give our deck the ability to clear up some space. Right, let's have a look at who we're going to be fighting. Nothing too terrible. Let's go ahead and grab a bit of a heal. Right, the forge. Wooden sword. Many items can be upgraded at the forge. The forge costs money, but you can use it multiple times. Each forge has different upgrades, so be sure to check. You can see how many upgrades an item can receive on its card. If it can be upgraded, there will be a number in the bottom right next to the anvil symbol. Oh, yeah, and you're a, you're a very interesting in, uh, character as well. Unfortunately, I don't have anything. <laughs> it's my gift. 
and my obligation. Now, those of you who saw my early, uh, my, uh, early access recovery, oh, sorry, um, yeah, I guess early access beta, um, you'll be familiar with the typical Badger Forge Master. This is a slightly different one. His hand glows with a power, incredible and cursed. I can take your items to the next level, he says, but the price is great. Adds four damage to a weapon if it is adjacent or di uh, diagonal to armor or shield. It is disabled. Adds two poison to a weapon. If it is in the same row or column as a consumable, it is disabled. Adds three block and float to a shield. Adds three block and armor. Adjacent armor gets minus one. No thanks. I mean, I'd love to do it, but I, I literally don't have anything I could play it on. Ah, oh, what a shame to have found you like this. His hammer swings into his cursed hand. You're filled with a new purpose, but also a new challenge. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm really not. I didn't take any curses. Thank you. Uh, got stupid amounts of treasure, but we really do need to get some way of gaining more building materials. Right, we can offload our items down here. Let's go and hand in these presents straight away. Hello. Anna, bless you. Alright, let's have a look. We got Unity Candles. Must be played, placed on an item. This item is played, uh, items this are played on are destroyed. On use adds some energy. Uh, not the racist, I'm not gonna lie. You can have this. We got some tinsel. Must be placed on armor, a shield, or a structure. On use, plus three block this combat to the item that it is played on. Well, I mean, neither of those are particularly great, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead and grab you. Let's go and check out what we've got at the forge today. Uh, um, well, this is new. In the distance, you hear the gentle sound of the chisel. Wait, no, it's the sound of beaver's teeth. As a frog, the whole teeth thing still freaks you out. Yuck, he says. Got any carvings like Noron? I see. So you're the equivalent of Totes Forge Master, except that other Forge Master was, was the, the default type. Add three damage to weapon, add three blocks to a shield, add two blocked armor. Well, I don't have any armor, but I wouldn't mind adding a load of damage to a weapon. But we will come back. Ah, shuckers, he says. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. I do enjoy a bit of noshing. Noshing? Fair enough. Uh, is there a... Uh, there isn't a shop nearby. Okay. Let's have a look at what we got over here. Oh, I didn't mean to... Oh, come on, game. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to shimmy it out of the way. <sighs> oh, I like it, so it's okay. When a carving is summoned in an adjacent space, that has three blocks. That, that is super annoying, though. That is not what I wanted. Right. Him of uh, Mary. This item has a use in Haversack Hill. And a poison potion. Sure, I'll grab those. But that is that is very unfortunate. When a, a, a big part of the strategy is not filling your deck with useless junk, forcing you to take something to see what's beneath another thing is unfair. All right, okay. Ooh, whiz buckler for each connected mana stone plus two block. Hmm, okay, I kind of want that one. All right, yeah, I don't want that. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Yes, whiz buckler, get. Oh, it is, it is, in fact, a carving. Okay, well, that's not great. Um, each turn adds one mana to connected mana network. On discard, adds ten poison to self. That's not. Despair. Lose two HP on summon. This carving is banished. Remove all held carvings and draw five. Let's try to avoid that one, if we can. What's this one do? Uh, this item has a use in Havasak Kill. Okay. Well, let's take that back then. And I have zero guesses remaining. Okay, thank you. And I guess... Um, yeah, I, I suppose the green outline is always going to be a, uh, a carving. Or I could just look at it and it says carving. For each connected mana stone, plus two block. Add two block on use. Oh, so this one stays in the pack. Hmm. So this becomes viable over here for me to use. I could pop the mana stone, uh, this in there. That's useful. That's actually quite a useful one. I'm getting a little bit concerned that I've got nowhere to sell the gubbins that I've got. And I don't want to just discard them. Alright, let's have a look. We've got the gem sap. When connected to three other saps, deals six damage to all enemies. Then the carving is disabled. 
the oak hatchet can be used one time each turn when armor or a shield is present this carving is disabled on you steals three damage we've got the druid staff it's conductive it's a wand ma uh, it's magic wand weapon and carving on summon deals 10 damage and on discard adds one mana to the connected mana network the shiitake mushroom each turn adds one rage to self when an adjacent consumable is used adds three rage to self and then is discarded and finally the survival guide on summon removes five from all status effects on everyone hmm. That one could be useful, but I'm actually kind of feeling the mushroom right now. I, do, I definitely don't feel the staff. I don't need to take something, that's the thing. I'm also starting to regret not taking the saps that we've seen. But they feel that they've got a very big build-up to be able to have three of them connected to do their, their thing. But I guess if I don't start taking saps, I'm never going to know how they work. Maybe a future build, maybe we'll go for a specific sap build. I'm not sure. All right, well, first and foremost, let's pop you down right there. Tonk. All right, on use adds eight block. We're going to need to use this three times. Alternatively, I could summon this in once for one energy. Um, I can also throw the poison potion, and I think that's absolutely what I'm going to do. Uh, when I, oh, I should have popped this in first. That was my bad. Uh, let's bring you in now, then. Um, right there. Punk. And you can go in there. There we go. Now I can add a little bit more block if I want to, and I don't see any reason not to, frankly. Uh, must be played on an item. The item is played on R destroyed. C ooh. No. Doesn't look like I can play it on. That would have been an interesting way of getting rid of items out of my backpack. That would have been a very interesting way of doing it. Oh, I may as well just do a little bit of extra damage. Uh, I could play this. And then toss everything. That was nice. Okay, toss everything. There we go. And just a wallop load of extra damage. We actually managed to build up quite a lot of block there, but you're going to... <laughs> heal through a lot of the damage that I'm doing which is a bit of an annoyance but oh well right I'm gonna leave that spot open uh, we're gonna bring this in now the problem is here I've got no real way all right I don't need to be attacking you anymore how about I attack you instead I'm gonna need six block uh, should I bring this in now that's one rage to self when adjacent consumable is used, add three rage to self. Well, if I want to use this, I, I do have to put output in there. One. I could just tank the incoming damage. I'm not going to... Well, actually, no. If I pop this down right now, I'll have less incoming damage. That actually works out better for me than trying to place down the, uh, the oak stump. And we can just follow this up then with just a little bit of extra damage here. Okay, not too terrible. I disapprove of the uh, incoming damage at all, but... Oh, well. Right, we've got the candle here. Can be played over other items. Carvings behind are discarded, which is going to be a useful one for us. Uh, on use 5 damage, but this one isn't going to be useful for me right now. Let's place that down. That clears me. Does this cost anything for me to play? No. So let's just get rid of that. There we go. And just bring these in because I can. There we are. All right. That's on. Well, I guess I could just bring it in just to toss. There we go. Not that we were going to get through the your, your shield, but that wasn't too much of a concern. Right. At this stage, I would say I want to play you. You you and then I would want to place this over there there we go and then we pass the turn and I'm going to allow rage to start building up and now we're going to do a little bit of extra damage uh, which should hmm. yeah that's all I'm gonna need okay level up as well not bad I will take these spaces down here there we are with that, I can shimmy all of this out of the way. 
it feels wrong to put that on its side though, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I know that's silly, but it is what it is. Right, acorn sap, when connected to three saps, adds ten block. This carving is then discarded. I feel that my my bag is too full of things that aren't sap for me to be able to do a sap build at this point. It's glorious, but I'm f instead I'm going to take the bone lance because I know I can upgrade that at the uh, at the anvil. Oh, and a bit of health. Perfect. But I am lacking in ways of blocking at the moment, which I'm a little concerned about. All right, let's have a look. Uh, three damage for a weapon, three block to a shield, or two block to a... Well, I wouldn't mind putting her on the shield, actually. On use, adding that extra bit of block would be great. There we are. At lightning speed, his massive overbite starts to chip away at the carving. For a moment, you worry, as your carving disappears into the mist of sawdust. But then he finishes and gives your carving back. Each edge is smoother and shinier than ever before. That's the drool. Uh, right, there we go. So, adds five block now. It's very nice. We've got this, which on summon deals 10 damage, and on use deals three. And this one, that's just on summon, does 14. Which one would I like to add the damage to? And I wonder if it would add it to both t parts of the, of the damage. Hmm. Well, let's put it on the daughter's blade first and just see. Right, at lightning speed, his massive overbite once again starts to chip away at the carving. And again, you fear for your carving safety as it disappears. That has put it on both. Deals 13 damage on summon now and deals 6 damage on use. That is really nice. The Bone Lance, honestly, given that, is kind of surplus to demand, I feel. However, we can turn this into a new gun. We might be able to find better things later on, like uh, poison and the like, so we could make it into a, quite a nasty weapon. I'm not disappointed with taking it, but that uh, the effect on this is quite, quite wonderful. Right, let's get a little bit of something something going. Pop you down, pop you down. Summon you, do a chunky bit of damage there. Summon you to do the same. Follow up. Now, we've got a good bit of uh, protection here. And we can almost finish you off. Can I finish you off with this? Yes, I can. I would lose that, though. But it would get rid of you, and you're not then going to be adding any extra block, which is uh, something I would like. I should have gone for the bat, honestly, because you're going to scarper with my cash, aren't you? You utter scallywag. All right, let's bring in the bone lands. There we go. I don't need to protect if I can kill you. So, that works for me. Uh, let's pop that one up there for now. I can use it on next turn. Incoming seven damage. Not something I'm too concerned about. Uh, hmm. Let's be rid of you. Bring this in. And bring that in as well. And I'm just going to block up to the correct amount. I guess I could just bring these two in at this point as well. And at this stage, just... Well, I don't need these seven damage, so I wait until next turn. So that you don't have your shield there. Right. Now I want to toss everything we've currently got in the backpack out. There we go. Do I really need to bring that in? Probably not, because I don't have a consumable to use with it. There we go. What do we get? We got another mana stone, sure. Uh, I'm starting to think that bringing these down here would be the better play. So the shield can now just be tucked in there. You really want me to take sap, don't you? Damn it. When connected to three saps, adds eight poison to the enemy. See, if I start playing sap with 16 cards, this, this is 100% me just gearing myself up to tell you not to do the thing that I'm about to do because it's dumb, so I'm laying out why it's dumb before I do it. If I take one sap with 16 cards, I'm going to have one in 17 chance of drawing that sap. And I'm going to have to have two other saps. So for two other battles, I, that sap is going to be useless. It'll just clog up my inventory. But once I have got it, getting all three of them into this tiny little backpack space without having to toss my my uh, carvings is going to be a rough, rough ask. But fine, I will take it. Who knows? Oh, merchant down there. Catered to a trade. 
Get a different item with the same rarity. No thanks. Well, let's have a gander down here, shall we? Hello! Want to see what I have today? I love that all of the characters are different. This is absolutely marvellous. I love that the Totes characters are completely different from the others. Enoki mushrooms. Each turn adds four block. When an adjacent consumable is used, adds ten block. This carving is then discarded. Uh, crystal sap. When connected to three saps, deals ten damage. We've got the daisy blade. Deals six damage. Adjacent carvings are discarded. On summon, deals ten damage. Hmm. This one is very useful because it can clear my stuff in my backpack without me having to toss. That's big. All right. Okay, you've got my attention. I'm going to take the sap and I'm going to take the blade and then going to sell. I don't buy. What? Oh, come on. Scallywag. All right, fine. I guess I should have seen that one coming. Uh, all right, well, I've got no cash to spend on anything, so it looks like we're going down to the next level. Okay. Uh, oh, we can just go straight to the enchanted... What? I, I could just bypass the boss battle if I wanted to. Uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, all right. I think I, I need to drop the tinsel, though. It, it pains me to just discard things that were given to me as gifts. That being said, I could... Oh, that's true. If I can get through the next area, I can always give it to Parcel. So why discard it now? Sure. Okay. Let's see how this goes. All right. First and foremost, want to play this in a position where I'm going to see the most use come out of it. So you're there. You're here. Place this. I think this has now got all effects or adjacency effects are applied, so this one is. Uh, we'll see now if I gain three block. I did. So that is actually. It, it doesn't specifically say that it's got the effect applied to it, but I like it. And uh, adjacent carvings will be discounted as well, which is always good. Place you down. And then I'm going to use the remainder of my abilities. Uh, see, I don't strictly want to get rid of it. We'll leave this open for now. This is a good bit of block that we're getting. In fact, if we put something down here that takes up both of these spaces, we get a lot of block coming in from there. Uh, let's go ahead and place you. Tunk. Now I'm going to get rid of it all. I don't quite have enough block yet, but that's okay. I can place this up top. I then want the mushroom brought in. This is going to be discarded after the turn's end anyway. At this point, I could do just four extra damage. I mean, it's not a lot, but it is something. And it's before they drop down their protection, so might as well. Alright, 18 damage coming my way, which I'm a tad bit concerned about. Let's get you in. Play all of these. Not enough energy, unfortunately, and not enough energy to do that one either. Uh, I'll place this at the top. We're going to take a whomping great bit of damage here. And this is the problem with having such a large deck, is I'm not guaranteed anything useful at the time that I need it. Uh, well, I mean, I've got Sab up there, so I can pop that in just for the sake of laughing at the fact that I can't use it. Um, shield can go in. Let's go ahead and use that. There we go. We've got all the protection I need now. I can be rid of you. Actually, if I go with this first, it deals 10 damage. Get rid of that. Summon you in to do the remaining 14. There we go. Nice. All right, and I think I'm going to... Oh, next turn, I can get rid of this thanks to that sword, so I'm going to hold on to this. I need to remove you as quickly as I can, because you're going to be buffing them horribly. But I can't, because I've got to get through this one. You're the only one that's going to be out and out just doing damage to me right now. Uh, let's go ahead place this down. Um... I'm not sure that's going to really help me, so... 
We're going to do a decent chunk of damage here, there. Nicely done. I can summon this for zero. But first, I would like to bring you in. Bring that in. That's going to do 10 damage. This is going to do 6 damage. This will also get rid of both of them. But I need the block. So we'll use the block now. Next turn, I can use that. Let's pop that in because I'll get a little bit of rage next turn. I'll also bring this in anyway just because I can. And you've got a chonky bit of uh, damage mitigation there, which I'm unhappy with. Uh, I would like to get rid of this. Oh, if only I hadn't placed that, I could have brought that in, but oh well. Alright, so I can deal 7 damage here, or I can do 11 damage here. Two uses of this will get me through. Or I can use this first, I'll get a little bit of extra room. Yeah, you know what, let's go that way. I'm gonna bring this in here, I guess. And we're gonna play this. Ooh. No, because I won't be able to use the block then. Ah, I've put myself in a bad situation with that, actually. Um, You're going to be doing the majority of the incoming damage. But I will not take you out with this. It's a shame. If I'd played that down there, it would have worked. In fact, it would have applied the damage twice. That was a misplay. That was quite a big misplay on my part. Okay, well, the best thing I can do now is just to mitigate as much of the incoming damage as I can. They're getting dangerously powerful now. All right, let's get you in. There we are, one down. Perfect. Right, now I need to get through. I don't need to block this turn, so I can just focus on just raw damage output. There we go. Summon this. And then follow up. Make a load of room. Uh, I can't afford to bring that in, sadly. Want to keep that on the board, so we'll just roll with this. This will block all incoming damage, so that's perfect. Now, do you cost one? Yeah, you do cost one. That's why my uh, calculation was off last time. All right, there we go. Did a little bit of damage. Got them in. It wasn't really that useful for us. If I'm perfectly honest, I should probably have saved that space for the tape. Your protection is going up sharply. But I don't need to protect myself this turn that up there. I'm going to use this once. And I think I'm going to use it twice. There we go. Almost brought you low. You're going to put a good bit of block and a dodge and a lot of incoming nastiness for me. A dangerous amount of incoming nastiness, actually. Right. Let's play you. I would like to just try and work my way through. I'm not going to have enough to get all the way through it, unfortunately. So instead, just block this turn. May as well bring the mushroom into play. I could get rid of something else, but there's nothing else to get rid of. The rage you're about to add is terrifying. But I've got to get through 17 block. That is an imperative at this point. Pop this in. I can do it. Yeah, I can just use this twice. Once, twice, there we go. Now it's just you, I'm not as concerned. Not as concerned anymore, because you don't really attack so much as uh, I, I say, and then he's gonna deal out 30 damage, but spends a lot of turns um, charging up the buffs. That being said, that might go away at this point, which is worrying. All right, uh, well, we're gonna need blocking. And I could just block all of the incoming damage. That's almost good enough. I could still do a little bit of damage if I applied that. Let's do it. There we go. I'll take one bit of damage, but that's okay. Now, are you in just full-on attack mode now? Oh, you are. Well, that's horrifying. 
I don't think I've ever had to fight this uh, this boss at this point, but it doesn't really matter because I can do enough damage to take them out. But I don't think I've ever actually been at a point where I couldn't kill them more or less on the same turn that I killed all of the others. So I haven't had uh, the opportunity to properly observe how they attack. Uh, let's remove one of those and just shimmy all of it. In fact, uh, yeah, let's just shimmy all of those over. Done, level up, get items. All right, these are actual items. So cracked bottle. Toss adds additional damage for each carving in your backpack. That sounds really good. Spare glasses. Adds two energy each turn, but on clear carvings, disabled for the rest of this combat. Ooh. I can't see without my glasses. Uh, <laughs> really? A Velma reference? Uh, loot box. When an item is destroyed, it creates a new item of the same size. Disable for one turn. Hmm. That's an interesting one with this play. I quite like the idea of Toss being that much more powerful. Let's show me all of this across. We use Toss actively all the time, so it makes sense. I'm going to be clearing out all of this stuff from my uh, backpack in just a second. Uh, let's go and see what other items there are. Oh, apparently that's a hero cover. A Santa hat. Uh, okay, that, that is used for research, apparently. Oh, <laughs> just any kind of research. Uh, Aminata mushroom. Adjacent weapons get plus three poison when an adjacent consumable is used. Adds five poison to an enemy. That one is really nice. Hero carving can be placed over other items on summon. Items behind are used. This carving is then banished. Hmm. Old coins? I mean, I could just send that back. But the Amanata mushroom is really, really attractive. We're going to grab that. Oh, I can grab all of them! I'll just take these. I don't need another one of those blades. I wasn't anticipating that, though. All right, and we can choose one this time. Shiny carving. Adjacent weapons get plus three. Uh, acorn cap, but let's have a look. Acorn sap. When connected to three saps, adds ten block. And is it only once, or I'm not sure. Flowering arrow. For each empty space to the right, plus five damage. On you, steal seven damage. I don't have a bow. Oh, but the hero carving would use it. Aha. Also, the tape would potentially use it. Nevertheless, we're going to grab the sap just because I, I've been trying to build up to it. Right, I've only got five cash, unfortunately, so I, all I can do really is heal. But, I mean, to be fair, it's needed, considering. Hello, parcel! My friend, please take all of this, these gubbins out of my, my inventory and take them back to Habasak Hill. Thank you very much. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, we can go down to... What? Thank goodness I remembered my glasses. Uh, the deep cave or the... Look, we've been through the Enchanted Swamp dozens of times. However, it really does feel like... Like, uh, Toad belongs there. However... Also, I love that Toad's tongue is poking out. Ah, uh, that's amazing. We're going to go to the deep cave. We haven't been here for ages. Let's get a bit of variety, shall we? Uh, straight away, we're going to see uh, a tote merchant. Got a rose arrow. Another rose arrow. Got reeds on summon. Adds 12 block. Not bad, but it's an awkward shape. Uh, on summon, adds 14 block. This is a natural item. A banner shield. Um, I don't think that's better than what I've currently got. I don't think anything here is really better than what I've currently got. I think it's just going to cause me uh, issues. Gold there or this health over here in a battle. I'm going to go for the health in the battle, personally. But first, we're going to check out all of the other areas and see. Oh, right. Okay. Never mind. we got dynamite. we got a present. Is there someone who needs a present on this floor? Hmm. I don't know. A rusty sword adds seven. Oh, adds three poison to enemy as well. But it's only on summon. 
Still, I like the poison. I do like the poison. We'll grab the present. Of course, I'm going to grab the present. We can't take the risk that there is a... Oh, that's a bad uh, overlap there. That there is someone out there presentless when we could have brought them a present. I, we, no, I refuse. Shiny carving. I mean, it's a gem carving. It's not a bad one to put next to a weapon if I can. But I'm... Oh, my God. My deck is 24. Any frequent player of deck builders right now is shivering at the size of this deck. Uh, right, okay. So we've got Acorn Sap. We've got the shield, so we can bring the shield into play straight away. Which is going to be grand. We can also bring the Pinecone into play straight away. Put it here. can bring in the rusty sword, the spiky carving, and then the rusty sword, I think. And then I'm also going to play the sap, and then get a shield going. Okay, good enough. Uh, three of them? Wow. This is going to cover a lot of stuff. I'm going to have to use it one point to get rid of it all. Punk. Right, I can use the hero carving here if I would like to. Um, this will get banished after that, though. I'm trying to decide what the best use of it would be. Uh... If I... Items behind are used. Would that cause this to trigger again? I don't know. But I could summon this in... Only once. Yeah, we're gonna have to go for this one. But I've got a lot of damage coming my way now. Uh, I could bring up... Taking out 9 damage... Useful. But... Also getting rid of the, the goo that is gonna be applied. Let's just go for it. Uh, I can use this. There we go. Oh, thank goodness for that hero carving. All right, that worked out really, really well in the end. Now, I could toss at this point to do 28 damage. Well, well, well. Um, I'm going to hold off on that. Because it wouldn't kill. But that is, that is quite amazing, actually. Right, now you no longer have a dodge, which I'm extremely excited about. Um... Get rid of this. Do a bit of damage. Pop you in. Summon that. And summon you. Not that the, the block is making any bit of difference for me right now. Ultimately, what I want to do is just load it out. 45 damage. <laughs> that is wild. That upgrade. My goodness. Was not prepared for that. Okay, I'm going to swap one of these out. Uh, a cleaver, flowering cleaver, rain. On summon, deals five damage. The above item is the above item is used. Okay, that is well worth me taking. Cleaver builds with totes seem to be very very good. All right, let's see who we're going to be facing. We're going to be facing uh, the uh, the duelist. I could just leave the level at this point. Not going to, of course. Let's check out what we've got over here. 12 gold to add 1 burn to a weapon, 8 gold to add 3 block to a shield, or 10 gold to add natural to a cover. Okay, so... Hmm. What is the the natural thing, then? Let's have a, let's have a quick look at my carvings. Uh, which one has it, I believe? Oh, there's a couple in here that have natural, surely. Yep. Yeah, um, that's not it. Or maybe it's just things that I've seen before, but I've... Oh, no, there we are. Let's bring up the, the card. Natural. Oh, natural carvings will always be drawn on the first turn. Oh. Well, that is very useful. Oh, wait. Let me have a look at my saps. Huh. 
If I could get natural on the sap. I mean, that's a lot of cash, though. But damn, would that be useful. I'm fairly certain I can't sell anything to this merchant. But let's just check. I can remove a carving for a price. How much is the price? If I wanted to, do, for example, get rid of the bone lens. Okay, I can't quite see how I can do that. Uh, can I click on that? Oh, there we are. Oh, that's just five per. Okay, well, it's, you can clean it up. But the shield here, for example, is, uh, is a natural one. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's go and take on this fight. Oh, you've got spikes, so I kind of want to get rid of you as quickly as I can then. Uh, right. So first and foremost, I'm going to need some chunky shielding. I'm going to want to bring this in. I will want to bring this in. Then play that. I'll drop six damage on you straight away. Play a... St well, actually, the stump will give me 12, which is lower than this at this point. Uh, let's get a good bit of protection in, up to 31. If I were to toss now, I'd deal 15 damage as is. I'm worried about the spikes. I'm going to need to have my shield up before I do damage. So... Uh, there's going to be four damage each time, so let's get that going. Let's pop you down. Get another bit. Oh, I love this mushroom. It's fantastic. Right, let's get the acorn sap in as well, just because I can. Or should I? Problem is then... Oh. Well, because I'd have to toss in order to get rid of that. Being said, I can use this and I can discard all of the adjacent carvings, so sure. Let's pop that in. That's not a problem. I can still clear the way for the sap. It's beautiful to have eight poison on you already. That is actually a big, big help. We've got one sap there. We've also got the, the cleaver. That is going to be amazing. Let's pop that in straight away. Pump. Ah, took a bit of damage. I forgot. That was my bad. Uh, we're going to want to remove this. Play this. Bring in you. At this point, I could probably toss and finish the fight. Yeah. Honestly, tossing the carvings is now my main fight ender. We've got Mossy Carving. Heals 5 HP and then is banished. Oh. Well, that's very useful. Blossom Band. When mana flows through, draw one carving. This carving is then discarded. Add more mana back into the mana network. I mean, we're starting to get to the point where this might be useful. But I'm definitely going to take the Mossy Carving. A way to heal is... Vastly, vastly appreciated. Right, we've only got nine gold, sadly. Uh, we've got one more fight that I can go through, though. And we've got someone who's about to try and make off with our gold. How dare they? Right, this is not the best setup, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but what I could do is just stack up the protection there and then toss straight away for an additional ten damage. So I've got nothing here that I really care about yet. Haha, <laughs> nice, nice try. You stole less than 10 gold. I'm poor. Right, let's pop in our shields because we are desperately going to need it. We're also going to pop this in. There we go. I need to do 14 damage. This is 5, this is 9. Sadly, this is not going to be enough. Also, you've got dodge, so it's really, really not going to be enough. Oh, it didn't trigger it. That was a shame. Ah, well. Pop that over there and just block. It's not going to do enough, but... Oh, well. We've got a tiny bit of healing up ahead. <laughs> Hardly going to make any difference, but what can you do, you know? Right, let's pop that in. Get you on the go. And you as well. 
then I guess we could use... Um, yeah, the cleaver's not going to do anything for me. I guess I could just bring this in, use it on that, see if it triggers it. It does trigger it. Toss would do 36 damage right now. So that would remove all of the incoming damage. Now, you're going to be dangerous if I don't do 14 damage to you this turn. Which I can, thankfully. Uh, is there anything I want to place down first? Uh, no, not really. Let's pop this down. Womp. Oh, no. Uh, I forgot. That is remarkably dangerous. Okay, well, let's pop the saps up here. Can I do... F oh, I can. Thank heavens. Uh, kind of want to use this, though. Oh, whatever. We, we, we need to stop that incoming damage. Still taking seven damage this turn, though. Now, of course, the acorn sap shows up now. Right, let's pop this down here. One, two, and three. Let's just get rid of you. Pop that up there. And then just use these up. There we go. I need to use that mossy set, uh, the uh, mossy carving as frequently as possible. Let's pop this back in here. Get rid of you. Yeah. And let's just use that straight away. I, I would like. No. But. I really want to use the moss. <laughs> no, come on. There we go. A little bit of healing. And then end the fight. Ooh, uh, mossy brick. This item is heavy. Each turn adds three block. Passive block. Nice. Energy fish. Adds two energy and then is banished. Uh, I think we'll take the mossy brick. Because I can just plomp it down there. It'll sink all the way. Go okay, finish choosing. All right, we've got 14 gold. Not quite what we needed, but... We can afford to put natural on one of the saps, or I can add burn to a weapon. And frankly, I think burn to a weapon is more useful for me here. Sure, let's pop that in. Since I'm very likely to use that one a lot, when I summon it and when I then use it, it adds burn. So as long as I use it every turn a few times, I'm going to be stacking the burn. Right, what we got over here? Uh, your cards hold your future. Or you, you know what? I feel like it. Uh, the Reflessia Shield, if in hand on turn end, adds three positive to self. On summon, ten block. Okay, we've got Mistletoe. Okay. We've also got the Elderwood, uh, sorry, Edelwood branch. Each turn adds five block on discard minus one gold. Okay, well, I know where that other shield is, so I don't need to go there. We've got the... Mossy Mace for each carving in your hand. Uh, sorry, you uh, in your discard pile, plus three damage. Okay, nice. Oh, and we've got it. Nice. Okay, let's have a look. We've got a fish. And we've got the Edelwood branch. Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. There we are. Pop up. Is that considered a bad one? No. There we go. Well, I guess it is in a way because you lose the gold. But I don't really value the gold. The each turn, five block. Passive block is much more useful to me, in my opinion. But I suppose it the game is it a, a negative because of the the uh, sad... Well, not quite sad trumpet noises, but near enough. Right. Okay, well, let's get you on the go. Pop you in. You as well. I want to try and do damage to you if I can. Let's pop you there. Let's do nine damage. There we go. And pass the turn. You only managed to grab two gold. That's fine by me. Right. At this point, I want to summon you in. Oh. Um. Oh, dear. Do we lose the pro... Ah, oh, no. Well, I didn't realize that was going to be a thing. That makes me sad. 
makes me a little little bit sad, yep. Very much so. Eat the block. Can I toss this for a decent amount of damage? No. That's a lot of damage you're gonna do though. Okay, uh, Shadow Actor copies your action, attack or defend. Ah, interesting. So I need to just try and maximize my defense to minimize your attack. I'll try and place that down last. Um, yeah, because I, I need something that I can use as a shield. And this is giving me a little bit of block, which is appreciated, but not quite enough. Let's bring that in. Um, I think it's better if I just use this at this point. I'll also bring this in. And you. I'm going to use you because it'll trigger the rage on me. There we go. That effect toss? No, it does not. Alright, well, that's fine. This is a dangerous fight. Right, finally got you there. And in fact, got these as well. So let's pop you there and you there. Pop. Nice. Okay, that was that was glorious. Uh, just to cover again what that did, we added 8 poison to the enemy. We uh, dealt 12 damage to the enemy. And we added 10 block to ourselves. So I don't need to add block now. Which is very much appreciated. And instead, I can just focus on doing damage this turn. There we go. All right. Not bad at all. I, there's no point in me trying to play that. Eight. Poison. Three. Oh, well, four burn at the time. All right. For each item in your discard pile... That would be the bonus there. I could bring this in. Might be useful. Um, I think adding that, though, would be the better play. For each card in your discard pile, plus uh, three damage. Would currently deal 48 damage? Wow. How many tiles is that? It's two tiles. Okay, let's pop this here. I'm going to place it at the top. There we go. Uh, we're going to add this, add this. And then going to discard everything. There we go. For free, effectively. Now, with three points, I should be able to finish you off. Two... And with the next hit, I'm going to bring you below your poison threshold. Which means I'm going to take one point of damage, but that's fine. Right, now it's all just down to doing as much damage as I possibly can in one go. Let's slide these across. Don't have enough to activate it then. But I could toss, I suppose, and I may as well. Another le oh, we still kept the present. Oh, that's fantastic news. I'm unreasonably happy about that. Shimmy all of this across. Keep our shield space. Oh, get rid of this. I mean, technically I could just keep it, but... Uh, I don't think having multiples of these, unlike regular structures where they gain block based on the adjacent structures, I don't think that's going to help. But Brother's Ring. Magic, ring, accessory, carving. When mana flows through, this carving is discarded. All adjacent kin are used. Huh. Now that one is an interesting one. Do I have any kin carvings? I haven't been paying too much attention to it. I noticed that kin was a type of carving before, but I haven't been really looking for kin car uh, carvings since. I guess they'd be called things like brother and sister and stuff like that. Oh, of course. Uh, where are you? Yeah. Oh, daughter. Daughter's blade. Hmm. 
All adjacent kin are used. But trying to get mana to flow through it would be hard for me at this point. I don't really have a mana build. Still, I'll pick it up all the same. Just for the sake. And, and I am very much doing the worst thing you can do. I'm just accepting rewards for no particular reason and muddying my deck. Again, do be better than me. <laughs> Uh, what we got over here? Cards for our Doom, possibly. A uh, Curse, we're not interested in that. A Locked Chest. And what have you got available? Uh, three damage to a weapon, two spikes to a shield, and natural to a carving. Ten, oh, everything is ten gold. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go and see Tote's special item over here. Uh, I've got another gem carving, another acorn sap. Another root sap. I wouldn't mind getting another root sap so to maximize our possibility of getting the uh, three saps. Okay, what have we got going on here? And I'm back. I'm so sorry about that. I had a call I needed to take. Ah, right. So, where were we? Uh, ah, yes. Uh, dealing with a rather powerful enemy there. Ah. Okay, well, I'm going to need to reserve an oak stump to force them into a defensive mode. Also, I want to take you out. Also, I want to take you out as something of a high priority. Right. Uh, what I can do here... So, I place this. Then this. I suppose I could do something like this. And then activate that again. There we go. And then double activate. That should be fine. How much damage would I do now if I were to toss everything? 15 damage. It's not bad because nothing here I really need. So, sure. I'll get rid of all of that in order to bring your health down a good amount. Now, passive block. I will reserve that for the end. I'm not sure if that would count as a block, though. So, I, actually, I can place that now. Uh, next up, I would like very much to place you. Followed by you. And then followed by defense. Oh, it didn't, it didn't switch over. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well. Damn drap and blast. I was really hoping that that would be the case. Huh, okay. Well, that's going to be awkward for me then. Okay, you're going to do a whomping amount of damage in a moment, so I really do need to avoid that. Uh, add passive block. Uh, don't want it to, to, to be discarded, though. And yet, everywhere I put it, it's going to discard it. Uh, let's pop this in. I can at least use this. Get rid of both of them. That's fine. I've got one more point. I can bring in one of the saps, sure. I can bring in... See, if I put this down here, I am going to lose gold. And I can use it, I guess. Let's see if this would use. No, it doesn't. Drat. Okay, that's unfortunate. And I do need to take you down, so... Oh, well. I guess I'm just going to lose the gold for nothing. Uh, oh, well. Uh, I, I, I hadn't properly paid attention to that, realistically. Okay, this is going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. I am hemorrhaging health, and I've got no block potential here. Well, I think this may be the end of us, then. Uh, there is nothing I can really do. I can play these, I guess, but uh, to what end? Uh, I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, I can't force you into defense mode, and so... I'm going to still have one more turn, but uh, what we're going to be able to do with it, uh, I'm not really sure I could say. Let's place that in, place this in. Can I just toss these? I do 15 damage, but this will do 10 and plus one burn. Uh, let's do it and then toss. There we go. A little bit of extra damage as well. Right, 20 damage incoming, and I've got nothing that I can really do to stop it. Uh, save for the fact that this will summon 62 damage when we bring it in. It's not really going to save me, but it'll be somewhat satisfying. If only I had kept the items up there, this would probably help out a little bit more, but oh well. Let's bring that in. 
And that's pretty much it. I am afraid that this is the end of Tote. Choose an item to save. Nothing selected. Well, I mean, I could... <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> any of these worth, worth me saving. Let's have a look. Does anything need to go back? I'm not sure anything here needs to go back, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. I mean, I guess these are relic items. We may as well take that one, I suppose. All right. Well, it, that was an unfortunate uh, failure to land. Uh, failure to, to stick the landing on that one. But, oh, well, they're not. Uh, alas. Two losses with Tote. Oh, well, rather. Two losses because of Tote. Well, no. One loss because of Tote and one loss because of me. Oh, hello, Pers. I barely made it back to have a sack kill alive. Keep learning. I will endeavor to do so, yes. All right. Well, let's have a look around. Uh, oh, I'm so impressed. Another hero. It's like, so great to meet you. Raven. Well, thanks. It's nice to be here. Did you beat up like a million rat wolves and we're supposed to celebrate you? Psst. So lame. Uh, what? Um, Miss Burra says that she has trouble listening in class. Uh, super lame and stuff. I, I see. Okay. You made a place for us. Thank you so much, Purse. Things haven't been the same since your mother was taken, but I finally feel like things are returning to normal. I'm really proud of what you've accomplished. I think Haversack Hill is going to be a great place for us to live again. Oh, that's lovely. And that's all you have to say for now? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we've also got... Lily. It's such a beautiful day to meet you. Hello, Lily. I've heard all about you from Miss Burra. La la la. Okay, well, looks like we've got a couple of new uh, characters in town. Fair enough. Uh, what are you... Is there something you want? Hmm. Louis, what... Uh, you've got, like, a, a quest marker above your head, and yet nothing is happening when I talk with you. Most... most weird. Right. Well, let's go ahead and head in, see if we can't sell some stuff or unlock some more things for the next one. Ah... Uh, it always, it always leaves a bit of a bitter taste when, when we fail in a run. But I was kind of aware that that particular deck was... It was just a mess. Uh, ooh, would the car... No, we won't have carvings to uh, unlock, of course, because we only really brought one thing back. I suppose what we can do, though, is see if we can build anything. Let's go ahead and see. Is there anything I would like to build right now? We've got the farm, the carpenter... Research new structures here. I wouldn't mind it. We're not that far off it, to be fair. Uh, fishing shack. Definitely don't need that. The sawmill. I mean, getting another sawmill would not be a bad option. We need those building materials. Could we even perhaps grab us another? Oh, can't afford that, but that's fine. All right. Well, let's go and sell what we can sell. Uh, also, Miss Barrett. We may have some things for you to research, actually. Uh, let's tr look at the Dreaming Tree. Ah, here's something for me to read. First born of the mother, tasked with teaching the frogs. Through dreams and study, it helped them grow. But the eclipse came, and dreams became nightmares. So a young girl f fled to find Dreaming's mother. I've added the translation to your atlas. Uh, an idea for a new costume. Uh, oh, okay. Wizard Tote. If you bring me more to read, I can look into more costumes. Do you have more for me to read? I probably do, yes. Uh, Mary twice lived. When she saw her empire burn, she sought aid from hedgehogs of old. Plucked their quills, she dulled claws. In, uh, she dulled claw in turn. And that's how cats came to the fold. Okay. Uh, this has given us a new outfit. Oh, now that looks really cool. We might have one more item, I think. Uh, no. no, apparently we don't. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and sell what we can. That is pretty much everything. There we go. Actually. Huh, interesting. Doesn't get rid of these initially. Because they are uh, for research, I take. Ah, yes, they are for research. Okay, well, that's fine. Just sell those items for now, then. Now... How much is another sawmill? 400 food? My lord. That's a bit bonkers. 
Okay, well, we've got some research that apparently I can do, so let's uh, go and see if there is anything I can unlock. So, starting from the bottom, nothing there, nothing... Ooh, there is any carving would work with that one. All right, we'll bear that one in mind. Uh, nothing else in here. I wonder if I can just bring up my backpack. Yeah, I can. Can I see what research is? Hmm. Okay, so this one apparently needs the accessory. As that... Uh, it's a helmet, okay, so that makes sense. Is there anything that actually requires a helmet, though? Uh, I'm not seeing what it's... Th I think it's just listing anything that has an accessory tag. Now, this one in particular is used for archery mastery, but we, we de definitely don't need that one. Uh, Alright, so I think it was in here and we wanted to find an accessory. Or perhaps it wasn't. Was it in here? Consumable accessories. Hmm. I'll bring that up again. A few research. Oh, my ba- Uh, yeah, the schoolhouse. Is the schoolhouse not linked? I think this is the schoolhouse. No, this would be the armorers. Perhaps I haven't linked up the schoolhouse yet. Let's go and have a look. We have built the schoolhouse of that, I'm certain. Uh, it's the library down there. Let's go in here and have a look around. So we've got Temple, Jewelers, Blacksmith, the Fletcher, Barracks, Tavern, Library. Yeah, Schoolhouse right there. I wonder why that isn't showing up. Well, now I know what it looks like. Let's go and have a quick peek. Does the Schoolhouse show up? No. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe I need to move this around a little bit and connect it up with paths a bit better. Alright, let's go ahead and add this in. There you go. Done and done. I just need to bring a book along as well. Alright, well, the rest of this can be sold then. Okay. Well, with that, are we ready to give up on Tote? No, absolutely not. This time we're going to go out... See, this is why we failed last time. We weren't wearing our robe and wizard hat, also our majestic beard. Of course we were going to fail. So this time we're going to go out properly equipped. And also I'm going <laughs> to actually pay attention to my own advice and not muddy my deck with every little thing. I'm really feeling a sap run, but given our robes and uh, wizard hat, maybe we should look into trying to build a mana focus deck let me know in the comments down below what you would prefer to see and i will see what i can do in the next episode but until then and as always from me and tote and of course from matthew to take care